here at Atmosphere with my husband, Ted. Until about 10 years ago, we had a great life. When the economy dropped in 2008, we lost everything. We lost all of our stores, our business, our retirement, our home, and eventually our sense of hope for the future. I can't put into words how hard it was to go through all of that. But I can tell you that the stress of losing everything took a great toll on both my husband and myself. My, Ted came down, my husband Ted came down and developed Parkinson's disease and I ended up on disability after a double tumors on my heart. We moved into atmosphere on April 1st and it has been a lifesaver for us. Living here, we can finally breathe again. The first day we went down to pay our rent was very exciting and we felt so good like we were on top of the world again instead of the world being on top of us. Now I have hope that things will get better for us finally. I thank Wakelin, all the staff, all the people who've helped us to get to this point. My husband and I are so appreciative to have a beautiful home again. We are extremely grateful. Thank you so much. You know, I spent this morning uh, talking to a lot of reporters. They were asking the question of, uh, why do you do this? Well, that's why we do this. Thank you, Vicki. Atmosphere is a 205-unit, 12-story, high-rise. You are currently sitting on top of the eighth floor. And uh, it's uh, one of the unique things about Atmosphere is that it has 51 units that are set aside for permanent supportive housing or for people who were previously homeless. Atmosphere is an important part of Housing First San Diego, which is a program that the Housing Commission and the city set out to de develop a new homelessness action plan about two and a half years ago. In that regard, 51 of these units have been set aside for homeless individuals who also will be receiving supportive services. And the Housing Commission has awarded some 51 federal rental housing vouchers to this property. You know, Atmosphere is a perfect example, ladies and gentlemen, of what we need to build more of in San Diego, in every single neighborhood across the city uh, and that's why I think why today is, is so special because as we talk about how hard it is for housing affordability how hard it is to make that transition if you've been homeless to get the support and to get that wraparound services that's why projects like atmosphere homes like atmosphere are so important to, to what we're trying to do homelessness is first and foremost a housing crisis it can be addressed by creating more places for people to live, coupled with those services to break the cycle of homelessness, and that's why programs like Atmosphere are going to work. It's getting families, it's getting people like Vicki and her husband, getting them into housing. When my family moved to San Diego when I was a little boy, uh, we didn't have any housing. Housing was short then, and we ended up living with other families for a while until we moved up on the public housing list, which is Linda Vista. So this is in kind of my roots, that I'm committed to seeing if we can make a difference. Behavioral Health Services also partnered <clears throat> with Atmos here, um, excuse me, partnered with Wakeland Housing to provide wraparound mental health and recovery services here at Atmosphere to 31 formerly homeless individuals with serious mental illness who are eligible for services under the Mental Health Services Act. The Atmosphere project is really a testament to the commitment to continue the development of affordable housing in this post-redevelopment era and is a prime example of what can happen through public-private partnerships. I've had the privilege to share that profoundly moving moment when somebody gets a key to their front door for the first time. And, and it's indescribable. Someone who's been homeless for five years, ten years, not had a safe place to live. They have a key in their hand and it goes in the lock and, and there's nothing to describe what that moment is like. That's what moves me. That's the vision that I see. I know that we together can create safe homes. Thank you, Vicki, for mentioning that. Hope and creating pathways out of homelessness. Having a home should be a basic requirement for all human beings, but I know firsthand that it isn't. My name is Malika Moore, I'm 25 years old, and I never known 
what it was like to have a place to call my own until now. Before I lived here, I shared a single room with my nine-month-old daughter, Oakland, and my mom, Faith, in a house with eight other women. It was crowded and hectic, and I worried constantly that I was a bad mom for letting Oakland grow up this way. I wanted to give her the life she deserves and achieve the life that I deserve. It's been a real long journey for me to get here. I have experienced being homeless and I have spent many nights couch surfing and worrying about whether I'd be on the street the next day. And when people ask you, how are you doing? The generic response is I'm okay. And in reality, they're really dying inside. When I found out about atmosphere, I became obsessed with living here. <laughs> I looked it up on Google. I took pictures of the apartment layouts. I even did a like a drive-by, but you know, not a drive-by, but a walk-by <laughs> to see when it would be finished. And I prayed and prayed that I could get a place here. It was my dream. Moving here has given me a sense of major relief. I'm beyond happy. And now when people ask, God, hold on. <laughs> And now when people ask how I'm doing, I respond I'm okay, and I truly am okay. Sorry, I truly am okay. Thanks.